looking at you, making your moves, there is no silence I wish you'd never let go, all this moving in the zone I'ma lose it out of control, yeah, 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 yeah Looking so sweet, but you're dynamite, I just wanna dance with you Feeling that burn, I'm not getting out, yeah, yeah Baby, you make me lose my mind Hi guys, so once again, we have the rowing machine is my go-to for the warm-up. Five minutes, I don't normally do any more than five to six minutes, guys, at a steady pace. Uh, it just sort of warms everything up um, and gets you, gets you going for it. Okay, so here we've got some mobility stretches. Um, I do like to do at least sort of four or five different exercises back to back. You'll see me do about eight, 10 reps most on each exercise, nothing major, but it just warms up them back muscles. Obviously this is a push day guys. So we've got chest, triceps and shoulders. Um, here is just sort of a bit, a bit of rear delt and rotator cuff movements. These are really, really important guys, especially on you know flat bench press. Um, you know, really just warm up that rotator cuff. Not a lot of people do this, by the way, but I do 100% recommend it. Touch wood, not had any injuries so far. For you, you made it easy for me, yeah Nothing that you Baby, you make me lose my mind Maybe you wanna stay the night Time goes fast, I don't care I've known you long enough This is the last warm-up I like to sort of get the band and do a full stretch If you haven't got a resistance band, by the way You can pretty much use anything Even sort of I don't know, take your dressing gown rope with you. Okay, so first exercise, we're going to do five sets. And this is strictly just a, a dumbbell um, shoulder press. You can see here going right all the way to that front delt before I go back up again. I'm working again at the higher end of the strength zone here. So I, I cracked out six reps on this one. Um, again, you want to be working up to about six reps at the very, very most. If you can do six reps, ideally you want to increase the weight and then start from the bottom rep range. So, you know, you can see here that I'm holding, what is that? 14, 15, maybe 16. Yeah, I want to say 16s. So let's say 16 kilogram dumbbells. If I was going to decrease my rep range, then I'd pick up, you know, maybe an 18 kilogram dumbbell and do three sets or sorry, five sets of three or four reps. Okay, so the next exercise, I wasn't feeling very strong on this, by the way, guys. I did my first strength set aiming for my normal five reps with 55 kilograms. I think I managed about four just about and I, you can see in the video I am really really struggling today so sometimes the strength isn't there you just need to maybe lower the, the weight and it just do more of a hypertrophy rep range you can see there I only just made it so I did decrease um, I finished the set first of all and just cranked out 10 reps on this so this is only three sets for the chest uh, bench only because we've just had five on the dumbbell uh, shoulder press. So if it's a push day where it's more shoulder focused, I tend to do more, you know, more sets with my shoulders and less reps on my chest. I can take you anywhere you want if you come with me tonight. I can show you things you've never seen if you come with me tonight. Say the words and I'll make it happen. Where do you want to go? I can take you anywhere. Again, with the chest bench, guys, you can just see from this angle the little slight arch in my back. Now, 
forget what they say about you know impeding on your lumbar spine if you've got your heels on the floor and you're driving through your legs then your spine will be absolutely fine most people cannot get their back completely flat to the bench and on this particular compound move i don't recommend it give yourself a nice arch and to be honest you'll be able to lift more weight okay we go straight into triceps this is matrix so we do seven reps at the top here as you can see me doing once you've completed the full seven go halfway up and then down for another seven and then what you do to finalize it, you just do seven reps. I couldn't carry on with that weight. So if you need to drop the weight, make sure you're doing the, 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 you know, it's more important to actually do the movement properly than it is to lift as heavy as possible uh, with good form. So now here you see me doing the full seven reps. So it's seven, 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 seven on the upper half, seven on the lower half, and then seven full range. I'm just going into my second set. We're gonna crank out three sets of this one. So three sets of matrix, seven, 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 and ouch, my God, your triceps will be burning. I don't care about you, but not anymore. Cause you forgot about us. Try and keep your elbows as close to your waist as possible. Try not to let them swing all about, guys, because again, if they're swinging all about the weight's just too heavy just drop the weight and you'll be able to feel it on that 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 tricep area then bingo wings make it easy for us because i don't even want your love want your love now now want your love want your love now now want your love want your love now now not anymore because i don't even want your love want your love now now want your love so here we guys we've got the ball slams now, I normally do these at the end of my shoulder session. I normally crank out 20 ball slams, which, believe me, by the time you get to the end of this, it really does tax on the old cardio. Um, I couldn't find in this particular gym one that bounced up and hit me back in the face. So here you see me doing a bit of leg as well, which is squatting down to get the ball. That wasn't ideal for today, but I just worked with what I've got. I finish my ball slams, I go straight into side lateral raise drop sets. So I believe I've got here eight kilogram dumbbells, then I go down to seven and then down to six. I normally do 10 reps on each, so 10 on the eight, 10 on the seven, 10 on the sixth, and believe me, you will feel the burn. If you're looking to get that lovely kind of shape on the side of your shoulder, so they nickname it the shoulder boulder, that edge is, is definitely going to give you the definition with this move. I would say that the side lateral raise for me has really built my shoulders. When I'm standing, you know, still you can just see that shoulder you know, development already. Even when I'm not doing anything, you can see the shoulder. Once again, guys, keep a slight bend in the elbow. Try and go, you know, shoulder height. No, no more because obviously you'll you'll do yourself an injury, and it's just not necessary. So up to your shoulders as best as you possibly can. If for any reason you start struggling, which in these drop sets you can see here, I definitely am. Um, I tend to you know, really bend my elbows a little bit more and try not to go as straight out. It's harder to go straight out with less of a bend at the elbow than it is to bend even more so and just try and at least still get that rep in. Uh, I normally do three rounds of the ball slams and side lateral raises and believe me, by that third round, your shoulders will be on fire. just so that you can see my shoulders working at the back. I tend to lean a little bit forward. That was slightly too high on that rep, Emma. That's it, that's much better. So I tend to lean slightly forward with my hips because I like to take the motion out of my hips so that I don't use hip drive to actually get the rep. You're taking my head. You can actually do these seated as well to take the entire lower body out of the framework, um, I would imagine. It is considerably harder when you don't have that that hip and that leg you know, sort of drive to help you get the weights up. Not everybody does do a hip uh, and leg drive, by the way. Some people do them properly. 
Some people just stand like I do, completely still, and just use the whole momentum from the laterals. If the weights, again, are too high, then this is what's going to impede the movement. I'm pretty relieved at that point <laughs> one more round to go and as you can see the pure focus in my face because the burn is overriding absolutely everything at this point but ladies if you want them developed shoulders then honestly this has been a game changer for me I wanna get there just in my mind Final exercise of the push day was the pec deck machine. Not all gyms have the pec deck machine, so you can do completely different and do it on the cable crossover, but seeing as this gym had it, I thought I'd give it a whirl. Nothing that you baby you make me lose. Feel that stretch going all the way back. I did three sets. 10 reps, oh yeah, you can see this, you know, the stress on my face. I definitely was feeling this by the end of it. tell on my face there that was a good workout <laughs> so guys if you did like the video then please like and subscribe I will be putting at least three workouts weekly uh, push pull legs or different variations so if you want to keep following me if you want to keep up with the workouts and try some out yourself please screenshot the back page it's got the full description of the workout